Hello, this is V buzzing with V. Welcome to another video. Today I have a few project shares to share with you. I am currently using ScrapDivaDesigns.com's supplies. I will have them linked in the description below, so be sure to go ahead and check that out as well as the hashtag. Also, stay tuned for an update that will be at the end of this video. For now, I'm going to share with you five die sets from ScrapDivaDesigns.com's shop. You can uh, check out the link again, and if you like anything that you see here, I will share with you two projects as well using these die sets. And um, let's go ahead and get into it. So as far as the word set here, this one's called the Party Words. And you do get nine dies for the words. As far as the outer layer, the base, you get another nine. So a total of 19 altogether. And I just love party words, any type of words. You could make them into embellishments. And that's exactly what I did here. I love making them into embellishments and utilizing them. Um, like that. So it kind of looks like a Jolie sticker and I just think that it's so fun to do that as well as use them as ephemera pieces. So you can find in my other videos that I do also that I use them as ephemera pieces by um, heating them up in some uh, laminate sheets and I use them as ephemera pieces that way. So it's so fun to do. You can do it in all different types of colors. And so uh, this is a party themed release for June. Um, I want you to go ahead and check out the uh, website. That way you can see all of the party stuff available. So this one's a fun one as well. This one is a mini album and it's called the Party Hat Mini Album. And you also get the base, the layering piece, and you get a fun a face there you can use it as eyes and a mouth and you can use the party words with it as well if you like and I'm gonna take the uh, dies out here so you can see them I know the plastic sometimes can put a glare on them so I just took that plastic off so you can see it and I just love the new look as well the dyes are pink for this month uh, we'll see what they are for next month they have been changing colors so that's another fun uh, marketing tool that uh, scrapdivadesigns.com has the next die that I have here is a nesting die this one is called star nesting set so in this one, you get so many stars available, and I took off the plastic as well. Let's go ahead and see how much. So apparently you get about six or seven die sets in there. So, so fun to stack them up and layer, layer them. This one would be a great one to make a Christmas tree out of when, uh, when the season comes. You can do that. You can stack them and, and stack beads in between each layer and make a Christmas tree. That would be so fun to do, as well as some shakers using some acetate. You can do that as well. Um, so, yeah, it's so fun. You can use them as confetti in your swaps as well. And Independence Day is coming up, so this would be perfect for Independence Day as well. And uh, stay tuned for that. I will be sharing some projects for you, making Independence Day projects. I um, I joined a swap, and so to make myself craft Independence Day, I made sure that I would join a swap, and that way I can hold myself to making Independence Day crafts and challenge myself in that way. So stay tuned for that as well. It's so great to be back. It's been about, I think, over, a little over a month, and I'm so happy to be back. And for those who follow me know that I um, do a s homeschooling at home, and so the school year has ended, and now I can focus on my channel and focus on some social media uh, projects as well. And so the next die that I would like to share with you is, so all of these dies I picked out. These were the ones that I wanted. 
And so they're my favorites and I wanted to craft with them. So this one is called Beach Chair Mini Album. So in the Beach Chair Mini Album, again, you can make a mini album. I know of the other design team members have been making different projects with this and it's so creative. So I've seen a box. Um, I think I've seen pockets. I think I've seen a pocket somewhere. Um, yeah, this one I wanted so I could make with my um, 4th of July crafts. I thought it would be such a great die to use for that, as well as a beach theme. Again, it's called Beach, so, and a mini album. Of course, my favorite thing to craft right now these days is mini albums. So it used to be 3D crafting, so now it's mini albums. I'm so into mini albums this past year and a half. And so the next one is the Slimline card, and that one is called Honeycomb Slimline card. And I do have a project for that. I had to pick this one out, of course, because it has, you know, it, it pertains to bees. So of course my channel, Buzzing with Bee, and the whole bee theme, love it. So you guys remember, save the bees, please. I'm not gonna get too much into that, but we need them for our planet. And so there are, I have a ruler here for you so you can see the size. And to the right, you can see the card that I made. A very elegant card made with uh, American Crafts uh, collection papers. And so I mix and match. I have four collections in here. If you'd like, you can go ahead and guess, try to guess what collections I used. And um, again, four, it's a total of four different collections. And I will give you a hint. Maggie Holmes is one of them. And the other, um, it's a very new one that I shared recently. So hint, hint. <laughs> and then I used from my stash the word be happy. So we definitely need more be themed in, in our design team projects. And so that's it right there. I enjoyed making this card. I love slimline cards. They're my absolute favorite to make. And so uh, I just love how this one turned out. All of the colors are really nice, something that I always gravitate to. The B die set that's inside of the card is also for my stash. If I can, if it's available, I will link it below. If it's not, then it won't be there. Okay. So um, again, I love the bee. So the last one uh, I will share with you next. These are some embellishments I made using the party word dies. And I paired them up with another die. I will have that linked below. It is a cell phone shaker die and it has these balloons that I'm using here. And I'm also using an extra balloon for my stash. So if you have... You could use, uh, if you have the cell phone shaker die, you can also uh, just double up on one of the balloons and you can create something like this as well. Well, this concludes the video. I hope you enjoyed it and stay tuned for uh, other videos pertaining to ScrapDivaDesigns.com. I will be making some mini albums and you'll see that shortly. Okay, let's go ahead and get into the update. It pertains to ScrapDivaDesigns.com. Each month, Scrap Diva Designs releases about 15 new products each month. And as far as those products, I will be on a selection basis now. So I, I have so much going on behind the scenes. So um, I will be sharing with you all of the dies that I select with you each month until my circumstances change. I'm still on the design team, so my discount code does work. It's V10% if you'd like to utilize that. I appreciate those who have. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much. So the dies that I shared for this month, these are my favorite. So just be on the lookout for each month are my favorites. Those are the ones that I specifically personally selected. And the entire June release is a great one. If you love parties, if you love swapping, it's an amazing party selection uh, release, inventory release. So um, I will have Scrap Diva Designs release video on my community page each month. 
as far as mine as well. So you're going to see my video come up on my page or uh, my YouTube channel. And then she, I will have her video on my community page. So you can see the entire inventory for that month as well. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.